Hey, hey everyone. Today I want to show you the very basics of Excel charts and how we can turn this data set or this small table of data into some visuals such as these column charts. We're going to start with some very basics where the data is just loaded straight into a column chart like this one on the top left. And then we're going to add some features along the way to make it a little bit more visually pleasing. So let's get started. I'm going to delete the first chart and we're going to create it again. So we've got this table of states and their quantity of laptops they've sold in 2023. So let's select that data set. We're going to go up to insert in the ribbon, go over to this chart section. You can see there's a whole bunch of options and the very top one, the most common one is the column or bar chart. And we're going to select the very first one. And you can see it's brought back all the information from that chart. But as you might have noticed, I did miss the bottom two, so they're not appearing in the chart. How do I go about making sure that they get added? Well, you can simply grab this, the box that goes around the data. So when you select your chart, that box appears or those lines appear of what's been selected in your chart. So you can simply grab that up or drag it down to make sure it selects what you want. And that's as simple as getting the column chart started. But as you might have noticed, the bars in my chart were slightly different in color. So what you can do on pretty much any chart in Excel is you can select any feature or any particular portion of the chart. In this case, I'm going to select the bars by simply select clicking one of the bars. And now you can see they've been selected. Now to simply change the color of them, you go back up to home in the ribbon. And just like you'd change the color of the cell, you'd change the background of the chart or the bars. So let's make it that blue. And it's as simple as that. So there's the very first chart out of the way. The second phase we've got here is that we've changed this chart now where the data has actually been sorted from highest to lowest. So you can see the original one was just sorted in whatever order the bars or the chart was um, originally displayed in. So we can again simply select that chart and you can see where the data is being represented. So all I'm going to do is actually going to go back to the table highlight that section, go up to data in the ribbon, go over to sort, and instead of sorting by the state, I'm going to change that down arrow. I'll click the down arrow and select quantity. And I'm going to select it in and put it into the order of largest to smallest. And now you can see the chart has now become a little bit more user friendly where it's ordering the highest to lowest sales by state. As you can see though in the second chart, I've also got some column or chart labels above each of the columns. So again, all I'm going to do is select those bars by clicking the bar again. They're all selected. I'm going to right click to give us a few more options. And one of the options here is to add data labels. So I've selected those data labels and now they've been added to the chart. But another little feature I've added is I've changed those data labels. I've highlighted them to make them pop a little bit more. I used yellow just because it's a little bit more obvious. You can use any color you like. But how do I change these data labels? Again, just like the data bars, you can select anything in the chart and format it. So I'm going to select one of the data labels and you can see they're all now being selected. You can easily go over to home and change a few things like we did before and change the color. And there we go. So the next phase of this particular chart, just to make it a little bit more visually pleasing, and sometimes, you know, this new modern sort of style of uh, charts, they have the darker background. If you want to do that, easily done. So all we're going to do is select this chart again. And as you can see, if I select out of the chart, there's a couple of options in the ribbon disappear. But when you select a chart, a few more options do appear. It's chart design and format. So when I've got this chart selected, I'm going to go up to chart design and now there's a few more options available to us. So if I go and click this down arrow here, it gives us a whole bunch of pre-formatted options that are available. And as you can see, as I ho hover over them, they give you what they look like. So I've selected this one over here on the left. So simple as that, I've just clicked it and now it's updated the chart that we have into that format. But we've changed a few things as you can see on my example below. We changed the heading of this to laptop sales because quantity doesn't really make sense. So how do we change that? Simple as like we did before, click the heading. Anything in the chart you can select and update. So I'm going to highlight that 
and just quickly type over laptop sales. Click out of the chart. The other thing that it also has is it's got quantity as a legend just to make sure that people understand what these quantities represent or what the sales represent. So I'm going to select that chart again and up in the ribbon, those little options, there's a few extra bits we can add. So on the very left hand side, you can see add chart element. So I'm going to select the down arrow. There's a whole bunch of options here, but in this case, we're going to select the legend. And again, if we ho hover over the top of it, you can see that their legend in the chart starts appearing depending on where you want to put it. So I'm going to just put it at the top there. And there you go. Now we've got this chart and a little bit more of that visually pleasing presentation style of chart. We've got some data labels and we've changed the heading. The final stage of this chart, just to make it that pop out a little bit more, you can make it a little bit more modern. Some people like it this way, is we can turn it into a 3D chart. So all we're going to do now is we're going to go back and select that chart. And now we can go to the ribbon again to chart design and go over to change chart type. It's going to give us a whole bunch of options down the left hand side, but we're going to stick with the column chart just to get the basics started. And now on the top section, there's a few more options and there's a couple that look like 3Ds. So we're going to select that and there's a few options that appear. You can hover over it to see what they look like and we're going to select this one. So we're going to select that and press OK and now it's turned our chart into a 3D chart. Now just like before you can highlight anything and change it around so I'm going to select the whole lot, make it a little bit bigger, I'm going to grab the legend, drag it down into a more useful location not hovering over the chart and I'm also going to select the grid lines around there and simply press delete. And there you go, it's already modernized that chart. But as you can see, there was actually one bar that changed color, it's into green. So you remember before I selected the bars and changed the color, but they're all selected. So how do I check, change uh, just the one color? I select one of the bars again, and now you can see that singular bar has been, has been selected. I go back up to home and change the color to green. It's automatically changed our legend so we're going to ignore that and press delete and we're going to select another bar by double clicking North Carolina maybe change it to orange there you go you can see my bars in my chart are a little bit more rounded not quite as square so that's another feature you can do so again you can select all those bars right click and then you can go to format data series and that gives us a whole bunch more options in Excel where you can change what the what it looks like, the 3D format, whether you want it in triangles or squares or cylinders. So there's a whole bunch more options. I suggest you go in there, play around, and just get better with time. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully it gets you started with charts. Please feel free to subscribe or like the video. See you next time.